Countries in South America with a history of accommodating pharmaceuticals are moving towards regulation. BBC spoke with Rachel Da Silva from Ecuador. In the last two years, two very drastic changes have been made. One, the president has created a nationalized pharmaceutical company uh, that's dedicated to the public health of the nation, and it's called Anpharma, and some see it as sort of the nation's monopoly on the production of pharmaceuticals. Tell, tell me a little bit more about HIV and the drug that was just introduced in Ecuador. Well, um, about two years ago, Ritanavir was able to be distributed in Ecuador because of the compulsory license that was issued through the World Trade Organization. Um, and therefore, generic companies in Ecuador were able to produce it at the lowest possible cost. And this provides more access to the drugs, but there's still a big discrepancy in other, I guess, um, help and support given to the HIV AIDS community, given just the culture in the nation. So. Michael Brown at Wilcock, BBC Health, Montreal.